During the winter of 2009, Tim Cantor set in motion the initial stages of one of his most unusual and introspective collections of paintings. To fulfil this creative endeavour, this anthology of works promised to be an artistic departure for Tim. Every element was thoughtfully considered by the artist, from the foundation on which he chose to create his paintings to the manner in which they were executed. While visiting Europe earlier that fall, he found himself captivated by drawings produced on fine milled papers. He was attracted to the way lead and charcoal organically emerged on aged sepia-tinted linen. Therefore, when envisioning what medium he would use to best portray his upcoming collection, he chose to entrust Arche paper. This fine French paper still retains its humble roots as it continues to be fabricated in the original mill used in Lorraine, France, since 1492. Many important works of art and literary milestones have preferred archival arche papers, including the publication of the complete works of Voltaire and Napoleon's The Description of Egypt, printed between 1807 and 1823 on two million sheets of arche paper made by hand. The elegant foundation of Arche encouraged the approach Tim Cantor took to exemplify this variation on his painterly style. Its heavy weave and its delicate deckled edges added further texture and dimension to the capricious theme of the P.S. Unique collection. For this particular grouping of paintings, Tim chose a monochromatic spectrum of colour and preferred spontaneous, sporadic brush strokes to depict his immediate thoughts of reflection, passion, self-scrutiny, fear and wonder. Though ultimately those intentions of painting in a more abstracted style were lost to his true nature, as it goes against the grain of this character to leave a painting in a form that epitomises less than his potential. One can still see an indication of the original objective in contrast to his exquisite and meticulous detail within each painting, by examining the loose oil colour feathered to the airy edges of the paper. Nevertheless, the year-and-a-half-long journey of creating each painting ended in a very different place from where it began. During the creative process of the P.S. Unique collection, the paintings evolved within themselves, bringing about further challenge to the artist Tim Cantor wanted to reach beyond his common boundaries, to engage the viewer and invite them to consider their own take on his curious works. In most instances, his eloquent visions would signify something entirely different to the beholder, as each individual is instilled with their own feelings, memories and intrinsic beliefs. The thrill of observing this uncommon collection is in the manner in how Tim Cantor compelled the viewer to visit emotions that may cross an uncomfortable line, thus leaving them stirred by the works of art long after their first encounter. At times his images may have seemed as if they were too difficult to define, yet they all had distinctive meanings subtly weaved through unexpected metaphors. In The Spinning of Threads, a girl falling through the open sky. Is she in peril? Is she changing into someone else? Or something entirely different? In Portrayal of the Soul, a magician holds a human head in his possession. Is it a symbol for his personal existence, as he looks intently into his own mind's eye? Or is it us he examines? Temptation offers us yet another study of self-reflection. The spellbinding composition, paired with its evocative writing, invites us to explore our deepest and darkest desires at once with the consequences they may bear. The questions will rise and often be answered as one contemplates their own take on Tim Cantor's mysterious works and wonder just what he will present next.